Hey, what's going on, folks? Clutch here. Welcome to Lakeland Vale. Welcome back. We are uh, over right in the middle of harvest season, getting wrapped up on our little farm. The little tiny farm that we've uh, kind of been given to us here. Now, no one's back at uh, Uncle Joe's farm yet. They're still out, I don't know, Mexico? He never tells me where the heck he is. I swear, he just goes from one place to another. But anyways, uh, we've got... I needed to buy a grain bin. And, well, we're up at one of our uh, various different silo areas around here. Um... They've had one, this this whole bin, they're looking at upgrading, I guess. They've got this smaller bin right here. They get, just gave it a paint job. Looks like it's in fantastic shape. Comes with a tarp and everything. Um, tires could be replaced. Looks like they're in decent shape, but uh, those could definitely be replaced. But anyways, this is coming home with us. I'm just, just picking it up right now. Uh, five grand. Not a bad price for that. Use trailer. Um, it's not like it's a bottom dump or anything like that. It's all pretty, uh, pretty rudimentary as far as our dumping goes. I mean, it's not an easy trailer to use in that sense. We'll have to undo all the pins, of course, to dump out. But there's no uh, nothing nothing wrong with that. We can work a little bit harder. And uh, it's a nice looking trailer. So that will help us get through the harvest season, which we're just coming up right now. So let's take this back down. I've got to go find our harvester um, that I've been told I can use. It's not great. <laughs> we'll see how this works out. Anyways, guys, let's get to work. Pitter patter. Clutch simulations. We ran into a minor problem with our farm all. Uh, the pin hitch is really quite high on this tractor. As you can see, it's it's way up there. It's not down low. Like there's no. We need to find a way of putting a pin hitch on the actual hitch point down below there. Everything's up on high, and you can see the way the trailer's sitting up here. It's kind of jacked up, but that's fine. The jack stand was able to jack high enough to get it up there, so it's not fantastic, but it's not the end of the world. We can work with this. We can still work with this. Um, I don't have... Yeah, nothing's dragging. It's looking down here. Those mud flaps down there, they aren't dragging. Oh, look, we got a pin hitch back here, too. So we can actually double up. If we can find another one of these trailers. Or something similar, at least. That's cool. Okay, we could do that. Now, will the farm all... How's it going to handle this? That's um, that's really going to be the question, isn't it? Ugh, we can't crank it over too much. we got to watch it. We've got that three-pin hitch there. And that's going to cause us a bit of grief if we go too hard one direction. But I think we should be able to just kind of drive it as we want. Sweetness. All right, so back down the hill we go. All the way back down to our farm. So both of our fields are ready to, already to kick into harvest gear. Uh, we're going to be harvesting, see if we can get both of them done today, as long as we can kind of pick up well, our harvester. We need a combine. That's something I haven't had access to yet. Now, I gave Uncle Joe a quick call. He does have a combine for me. Now, it doesn't sound like he's willing to give up that New Holland. He's got that brand new New Holland sitting there. I was trying to convince him to, uh, to let me use that. And... Let's just say he sounded less than interested. So he said there's uh, some keys on the back to a padlock to one of the back barns down by the horse barn area. I don't know. I, have, I, have, I don't remember seeing anything down there. We've been down there a couple of times feeding the horses for him. I don't know. You guys remember seeing anything down there? I, I really don't. We'll go take a quick look down there and see if we can figure it out. We'll stop off, grab the keys. I guess there's a shed down there somewhere with a padlock now. I, I don't know what to expect. I can't remember what we had before. I mean, that New Holland is pretty much brand new. So it's all I kind of remember. Pulling into the farm. Well, our farm at least. Look at that. Look at all these fields. Everything's ready to go. All right. Bring this on in. I'm just going to put this in the shed for now. And we'll uh, we'll leave it hooked up because, well, we're going to need this to move our grain around once we get into harvesting here. Come on. Crank it over. We'll go back. One more. One more. There we go. That looks good. Perfect. All right, let's leave this right here. Sweet. The farm all still running good, guys. It still runs like a top. I love it. It's a great tractor. Um, all right, so let's go grab the Toyota. We'll go back up to the farm. I got to go figure out where this combine is he's talking about. So we'll see what he's got for options. We'll see if we if we can't find it. I, I mean, I'm just going to steal a New Holland. We'll be done these fields in, you know, a heartbeat then, right? Through the pit and into the farm. All right, let's go drop by the house. I'll go grab the keys. Uh, let's see here now. I don't remember anything. I've been racking my brain, trying to remember what kind of combine you had when we were little and uh, come out to the farm here. But I can't remember a single thing, guys. Not a clue. Let's go in and see if we can find... All right, they're on a case or... In... Well, it's actually international keychain. Uh, maybe I kind of remember it. I don't know. We'll have to... Let's go down and take a look and see what we can find. Uh, let's just scoot around through. Look, we got some eggs coming out. <laughs> All these chickens out in the front yard here. Watch out, chickens. Get out of my way. <laughs> yes, get out of my way. All right, let's go. 
Uh, who puts La Cucaracha on a Toyota? Come on. <laughs> all right, so all the way back down the uh, the dirt road down to the horse farm down at the bottom end here. Let's scooch on down and see what we can find. I don't know why he doesn't trust me with that New Holland. I mean, really. What's he really got to worry about? So he does own these fields down here too. Looks like he's pulled the crop off that one. Uh, let's see here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. Well, this is cattle barn. Uh, cattle and pig, and then the horse are down a bit further still. So we'll keep on trucking on down. Let's see if we can figure out where the heck they are. Pig's looking good. Alright, and then keep on going down. Horses are at the very end. There's nothing there. Now, I don't know this area, but I don't remember seeing it. Like, there's a barn on our left there. I kind of see. Is that... No, that's all the horse area, right? So the horses are all in here. Oh, oh, what about this one here in the, in the trees? Yeah, okay, I can see uh, a harvester down below there. Okay, let's jump on down. In through the woods. There it is. Okay, perfect. All right, let's put the truck right here for now. We'll come back and grab this in a bit. Um, okay, what, what do we got here? International 1440. What year is this? This must be an 80s model. It looks a little bit worse for wear. It's not looking great, guys. Uh, I hope it runs. So I got the keys to it. Let's, you know what? Let's just hop on in and take a look. Let's get on up, up inside. Uh, all right. Let's fire this thing on up. All right, keys. All right, glow plugs on. Oh, please start. Please start. Please start. Oh, perfect. Well, that was quick. I like that. All right, well, um, he said he has been servicing it, so um, it, it seems to be running okay. I, re I really can't complain. Anyways, we'll leave that alone for now. Let's let that warm up. Now, he says in the shed, there's a brand new header. He, he had originally planned on keep on using this uh, this harvester, but the new Holland came. And uh, anyways, let's see here. We got the padlock. All right, let's open this up. Perfect. What do we got in here? Oh, look at all the old equipment he's got in here. Oh, there's the new header down there. I remember this thing here, this Yamar thing. He's a sucker for new, he's new equipment pieces of whatever you could find. He got sold this at a trade show, and it seemed like such a good idea at the time just for moving stuff around the farm, but the problem was it just goes so slow he never uses it. It's a waste of time. You could walk faster and carry about 10 seed bags back and forth rather than using this thing. So it was just sitting down here. Um, got a fuel tank. We got an old, oh, an old uh, Massey Ferguson. That's kind of cool. But this is what I'm looking for right here. 1030 header. What is that, about a 14 foot? Looks like about a 14 foot head. All right, well that works. Almost brand new, he says too. Excellent. All right, well let's uh, let's open this door up right here. Okay, we'll leave that open. Let's uh, let's go grab the harvester. Should be warmed up enough to move at least. And we'll go pick that up. Take that back to the farm, and you know what? We could probably just get back to work. Like I don't think we need anything else now. I don't know how big the bin on this is. So, oh man, we'll see. We'll have to wait and see what we get for this. But hopefully, uh, the decent sized bin. I've only got that small trailer now. That trailer. I think it's about 15,000 liters, something along those lines. Uh, I don't even know how many bushels we get out of that, but hopefully it's it's something we can use. Let me spin this thing back around. Back around up. We'll leave, uh, uh, make sure we got to leave that uh, Toyota here, unfortunately, too. That's a bit of a pain. Look at this, though. I don't know if he... I'm surprised there's not, like, a big dent in the roof here when he's coming by, because that harvester... Yeah, there's no way that combine would clear that corner. I would definitely run... I mean, no, I would never do that. <laughs> Let me go pull this, this header out. We'll just give it a quick roll on out of the shop here and uh, hook it up to the back of this combine. And we're all hooked up. Man, this is a tight fit on the back of this harvester. Look at this. Uh, it goes underneath. The hitch is way down low. But when we swing the, uh, the header around, it's only missing these back braces by literally inches. Literally inches it's missing it by when we swing it around. It's okay. It seems like we're having this problem a lot today with uh, kind of off-kilter trailers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's hop on up and away we go. Sweet. Look at that. Just barely misses. All right, up the hill. Yeah, we're clear there. Perfect. Oh, watch over the shrubs. Clutch. You know what? We're going to take the dirt route all the way back to the farm. All right, we're good. All right, through the puddles and up the dirt road. We should be good there. It'll take us a couple minutes to get back. Um, what do we got? Is there any beacons on this thing? No beacons. It doesn't look like. Nope, no beacons. Yeah, hopefully the, uh, hopefully just the hazards will be enough. 
<laughs> man. There we go. All right. Well, hopefully that's enough when we hit the road. We'll be on the road for a short little period of time, but uh, yeah, this should be enough, right? We'll be fine. Ah, what's the worst that could happen? All right, back at the farm. Everything looks nice and dry. I think we are ready to dive in. Got the trailer disconnected. We just got to pick the header up and uh, really get in there. You know what? We could probably bring... Yeah, we'll leave it there. I'll come run down and grab the the, uh, the farm all in a sec if we need it. Well, when we need it, I should say, not if. But everything else is looking pretty good. There's a large swath down here. I could turn this into a field down here as well. Maybe do like a small, maybe a third field that just kind of goes the whole length. That would be an all right idea. I could do three crops then potentially down here. But uh, like I said, we're just using this to really get it back on our feet still. Kind of hide away until, uh, well, until the heat gets off us from hazard. We'll see. We'll see how long, much longer we need to spend out here. But I do need to get this field done. That is for sure. Make some quick little bit of profit. And uh, we'll see where we go from here. All right, let's hook this on up. And back on away. Excellent. All right. Now, the next question. I don't know. Does this thing have enough power for these hills out here? It, it better. I mean, these are some pretty pretty steep hills, guys. We'll see. I mean, this is this is the worst of the field. This is the worst culprit right here. So let's, you know what? Dive head first, right? Um, let's find out if everything works. It looks like we're good there. Let's lower our head down. Looks all good. All right, so this field is going to be the biggest challenge right now. Let's make sure. Now, do we have... Perfect, all right. Well, we got soybeans, that's right. It's the other field, it's the, uh, the wheat field. Um, this hill right here is going to be the biggest challenge. If this hill, if we have any issues, it's going to be right now. If we can climb this hill, we're not going to have any problems with the rest. This is the, the, the big problem. And I don't think we're going to have any problems. It seems like it's holding the six miles an hour without issue. I'm, I'm happy. That's okay. That'll work. As long as we can still hold this, we are fine. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. So that's question one has been solved. So as long as the harvester can handle the hill, and it looks like it can. I mean, we got the steepest part coming up here in a sec. We're going to find out for sure if there's any problems. But I think, I think this old international can handle it, guys. You can see all the grain dumping in the back there at the top. Nice. So, I'm not sure how many bushels we're going to get off the top of this, but it should be... I bet you we'll get two... We'll probably dump into that trailer twice to be my rough guess. Uh, we'll have to wait and find out, but... Come on, get up there. Get up there. Seems like we're slowing down a tooch. Uh, it doesn't show anything, though. We're still holding six miles an hour. All right. Well, as long as you say so. Cool. Well, no problems here, guys. I'm, I'm happy. I was, uh, I was a little worried that this would not be able to climb the hill. But uh, if this could do it, then we're good to go. Like I said, the farm all could be a bit of a problem, especially once that green bin's full. But hopefully we can kind of fill at the top and then it's all the weight. It's empty when it's going up the hill. It's just all weight going down the hill. That'll be, <laughs> that'll be interesting. We'll see how that turns out. Nothing like being an open cab with no brakes. All right, let's spin this thing around. Sweet. Not bad, not bad. All right. Back on in. Line on up and back on down. Now, definitely no GPS for us today. Looks like I missed a little bit there. We'll grab that later on. Um, yeah, definitely no GPS. That's uh, that's not going to be happening with this thing. <laughs> I'm lucky I got a cab. To be perfectly honest. Oh man. Cool. All right. Let's fill this. Uh, let's fill this tank. Looks like we should be on our last little pass here for our first load. Not bad. We got, what, six, maybe seven uh, up and downs? Is that, is that the technical term there? The up and downs? Uh, looking pretty good. It's it's doing everything I would expect it to. I'm happy. All right. There we go. 97%. We'll get about halfway through this. Maybe a little less. 98. Gotta keep making watching that gauge. Unfortunately, I got no bin. I can't see back in the bin in this harvester. Uh, it would be nice to actually have a little bit of glass back there to actually you can see. All right. Back this up a touch. I might have, uh, yeah, went a little bit too far, but that's okay. All right. So everything looks pretty good, guys. Um, it's doing what it needs to do. Just jump on top here. Ugh, get up top. Come on. If we can just take a quick look inside. Yeah, that bin is definitely full. Look at all the soybeans in there. Sweet. All right. Well, everything looks good up here. Let me run down. We'll grab the farm all way down in the far corner. And now, of course, the question is, can this <laughs> this little tractor handle the bin once we get some product into it? Oh, man. We're going to find out, I suppose. Let's go. In we go. 
Let's get her up there. I gotta go take that tarp off as well. I see we got uh, the tarp up top there. Have to remove that, of course. Should have pulled out the spout. Oh well. All right, come on, get up there. Now it did handle the plow through this, so I mean, the, uh, there's no weight to the plow, mind you. It's all—all all that is—is is just pull power. All right, let's get out. I'm gonna go take this tarp off, and uh, let's go move the bin out. All right, and how close was I? Let's find out. Move that over. All right, looking good, looking good. All right, I like it. Let that dump in. Now, what, 200 and some odd bushels it said? You can see it's kind of moving down over there. We'll see, this should, how many bushels will this hold? Uh, oh, who knows? We got to, it's going to be pretty close, actually. That's 100 already in there. I bet this holds about, what is that, about 500 bushels, I bet then. So, uh, we'll see. We'll take a quick look when we get close to it, but I'll bet you I'll be able to put another, another full bin inside this bin, and we'll dump it out afterwards. Now, it's just a small silo we got, guys. We don't have a lot of room in that silo. I still don't know how I'm going to get this stuff to market afterwards either. I'm going to have to borrow one of his trucks. I hope he can let me do that, or just, I wonder if he's going to have some other truck he's just going to let me have. I don't know. Cool. All right, there's our 200 bushels. That can stay there for now. Uh, let's jump back in the harvester, get back to work. Sweet. I like it. Let's drop this down, drop that down, and away. Oh, oh, that's reverse. Forward. <laughs> Best driver in farm sim. Go. <laughs> last little bit left to go here we've caught in um, almost a full tank once again as it's this is a little slower than um well what we were planting with yesterday uh yeah that whatever 100 foot planter that was that was a lot quicker <laughs> to say the least oh man this little uh this little header on this harvester is definitely uh taking some time but we've got that's what we got we got lots of time oh, oh, oh missing a bit we'll fix that in a sec by just driving over i mean uh we'll fix that in a second by picking it up and uh yeah we'll grab it here Let's see here almost the end 99 100 ish right there nice okay let me open this on up excellent all right let's go grab the uh, tractor once again still running perfect go 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 nice let's go fill this thing on up all right love it <laughs> it's doing actually you know what no problem at all it climbs this hill without an issue, even with this, um, yeah, even with this bin. I'm not having any issues with whatsoever. I was kind of worried that uh, it would be a bit of a problem. Oh, did we just run over that? Oh, darn. And, uh, but it seems to be like it's good to go. All right, let's go. Stop her there. All right, excellent. I think this is going to fill us up completely, guys. I can't quite see. There we go. I think this is going to be filled completely now. I'm sure it will be. Oh, look at we're sliding a little bit. <laughs> And that's it. The international is empty. Let's uh, let's take this back down. I'm gonna go dump this out. There's no point in me not dumping it out right now with uh, how much we got in here. We're not gonna fit much more in here, anyways. Let's just go dump this off, and uh, we'll put it into our silo for the time being. Bring it back on up. Finish off this harvest. We probably have about I bet you three, uh, two more of these. So this will be a third of what we're getting for the soybeans. 416 bushels is about a third. That's not bad. I think. Uh, We'll see, but I mean, that's that'll be a decent amount of money, I think. Uh, we'll have to take a look at the markets, but I could be worse. It could be better, but it, it could definitely be worse. Let's get this dumped into our old silo, right? Come on, a little bit closer, a little bit closer. A little bit more. Uh, did I miss? I must have missed it. Ah, I gotta get it over. We gotta get right over top that little, uh, that little hopper there. Let's back this on up. Let's try again. That looks better, I think. Yeah, right there. Oh, stop. All right, I need to go forward a touch. All right, let's unhinge this. And make sure she dumps in. Nice. All right, oh, it's going all over the ground. That's all right. I'm sure it's fine, right? That's that's totally normal. It'd be nice if we actually had the proper, uh, the proper bin for this silo. <laughs> that's all good. All right, we'll get all the, si the uh, soybeans in there. Head back on up. We'll finish off the harvest, guys. On our last, just our last couple passes, and we're wrapping this field up. Not bad. Pretty good morning. You can see the bin is uh, probably 60% full there, maybe a little less. But I've got one more up and down to do here. We did 20%. We're going to end up around the 40% mark. You know what? That's not bad. That's almost three full bins we dumped off into our silo from this field here, looking off to the distance. Well, there goes the boat. Um, yeah, so not bad. That's uh, a decent amount of soybeans. Oh, yeah. I think we'll do okay on this field. Not bad. You know what, considering we're kind of getting all this equipment secondhand in a sense, 
Um, this didn't really cost me anything. We've been holding on to that 200 grand pretty much the whole time. We didn't really have to buy anything. A five grand for that bin. Uh, that makes life a lot simpler, of course. Just having someone that's willing to give you a hand. I mean, we've been working our, our buttons off for, uh, for old Uncle Joe there. So it's good to be able to, to, to get something back, I suppose, there a little bit. But you know what? If we're just going to keep the harvester down here from now on. I'll use that to finish off that field probably next. And I think that's oat. We've got some oat over there. We'll do some straw as well. Got some bales going on. But that uh, that's a wrap for this field here. Not bad. You know what? It's lunchtime. It's a beauty day. I'm taking the rest of the day off. I think I, I, think I deserved it. I've been out here working pretty hard. Not bad. I mean, we're, we don't have to go too nuts, do we? One more field to do. We've got lots of time to do it. And I think, uh, I think we'll just take the day off. Sounds like a plan. We'll get some ice cream. <laughs> the mustard and ketchup ice cream. Anyways, folks, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, you know what to do. You got to slap that thumbs up button down at the bottom. Of course, if you're not a subscriber, do not forget to subscribe on your way out. We have a ton of people who watch who are not subscribers, and you're missing out sometimes, so make sure you guys do hit that subscribe button. Ring the bell as well. We do post multiple videos a day on most days here, so make sure you guys ring the bell so you don't miss an episode or a live stream for that matter. Anyways, have a fantastic day, folks, and I will catch you next time. From Lake Land Vale, this is Clutch. Over and out.